Today we're going to learn how to create a show board using our online tool. And the result would be something as you see here um, in this image here under stable boards. But before we get into um, the designer tool, we need to share with you the tools and colors and tools available to you using the designer tool before you go into the designer tool. So here we have our standard colors we'd like to share that's available to you. And the colors um, are nice. And if you'd like more colors to consider for your design, we can go use umbrella colors, which is our premium colors. And they also match with style drapes, show banners um, that make your show barn all have the same color, which is awesome for a coordinated look. As you can see, the umbrella colors are um, quite nice. And if we, um, if you'd like to have an additional color that's not on here, you could send us the Pantone number and we can work with that as well. Next, we'd like to share our horse logos. These are logos that we've done in the past. Uh, we've done lots of logos. Not everything's shown here, but it does give you an idea of uh, the logos that you can consider in creating your own logo. And click here to load more. We do the, uh, the horse logo uh, for free, and that includes the vector art. Selections and borders. Very popular are our three letter monograms, our breed logos, and borders. The borders would be on the outside here that are available to you in the designer tool. Next would be our uh, font selections, standard fonts, and custom fonts. Again, if there's some fonts here that don't work for you, we are happy to use your, um, your own font. Just let us know what you'd like to uh, have and we'll get uh, help you with a mock-up using a font of your choice. The last thing I'd like to share, if you're lost for ideas for um, a logo, we have our stock art logos that are affordable and um, very basic by breed and discipline. So now that we've gotten um, the basics of using the designer tool, we'd like to share our designer tools. We have designer tools from a bench box uh, of our products all the way down to a valet medicine chest, which is awesome that you could design those online. And then if you would like to have some fun, uh, on the left-hand side here, you can design your own style drapes, for example, or a director chair. So now that you've seen how um, our designer tools and, and um, so forth, we're ready to head into uh, use the designer tool to create a stable board. You click here. We recommend, if you have time, to read the web pages. They, it offers valuable content um, for your consumption. Here um, are some components of the stable board that we'd like to share with you. We have the insert, and then we also have the frame. And then the top of the stable board is what we design inside the designer tool. So now we're going to go into the designer tool, and it will load, and we will start designing a stable board. And we've our stable boards are for feeding, horse show, um, tracking of going to the ring, whatever you want to do with these is available to you. So here's our standard. Um, designer tool on the left and on the right side your selections will impact the design over on the left side. So um, the natural progress is to go through steps one through five if you know what you want. But um, we'll start with uh, step one. We'll select the board. And then step two is um, is really nice. Step two allows you to select the color for the outside. We're going to go with uh, walnut stain. Uh, we're going to select a border that, as we mentioned earlier. Most popular is border style number one. We're not going to do piping in this design. Next, you want to select your board insert. And this is awesome that we have all these available here. You can do a, um, a blank insert uh, right up here. You can do custom rows and create your own. You can do a blank board with cork insert. You can uh, select our custom designs already. So 
Here's a weekly. Here's a weekly with uh, room on the side. And again, if you want to design your own board, you select this one and we will work with you offline to create rows and labels and designing, um, like say for example, you want 18 rows and five columns. Um, you want your own labels, we'll work with you on that, but you need to select this uh, selection here. So now that we're done with um, step two, now we want to go to, um, let's go to, I'm going to add, I'm not going to add a logo, I'm just going to add text to this particular stable board. And I'm going to type in, um, here we go farm. Move that on up to the uh, center. We're done. Now let's go with our colors. Uh, for the colors, you can mix and match all you want. Again, we have our standard and some uh, umbrella colors listed here. Let's go with um, forest green. Done here. Let's go with a white border. And then I want to do the lettering in white as well. Do the back and select white. Let's do back and let's go select a font. We can do Diane script. That's really fancy. Commercial script. We're going to keep it there. So this is our board design for our stable board. It's awesome. But I think I'm going to go up here and select a different insert. I'm not going to do a custom one. I'm going to select a this board insert here. Okay, now that we're done with our design, and again, if you wanted to add your logo, you click here, add logo, and you can fit your logo in here, and so forth, and, and also, in this particular area here, we have like 100 stock art images to work with. So next, what you want to do, if, if you want to get a quote for this design, you click on request a quote, and up comes the page to review your selections right here. Then you uh, click here, proceed to send quote. And up comes a page where we have, we ask for some information about you, such as your email and so forth, so we can uh, correspond back and forth. And when you're done uh, filling out the information, you click here, send quote for processing. Thank you for your time for our demonstration today.